is ready. Yo, listen, man. Uh, for my yo, love, I feel for this run with the hug. Meet the Mitchell family. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. And how do you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Sing it, Oz. Hey, boy. Very good. <laughs> morning, Momo. Morning. Are we ready for school? Yay! <laughs> Let's go, go. I'm so happy I can tickle the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye bye. Say bye. All right, I'm back home now, and do you hear that? Peace and quiet. Oz is around with Mosey and Angie. The boys are at school. Uh, Wayne is on his way to his dear friend um, Lu Luton's funeral today, which is actually really sad. And I think the worst part about like this whole COVID thing is like on a day like this, normally I would be with him, with Wayne to support him and to be there for him. But because of, you know, COVID and restricted numbers, like you just can't be. And I think that that's like the most upsetting part of this whole thing like you can't show up for people the way that you would normally do that so but it is it is part of the times that we're in and i guess you know we're just having to adapt as we go along and learn as we go along so yeah so you guys remember when i went to the farm and i got those eggs right and you remember that blue egg that was in there I have not eaten the egg and I just messaged my friend and I was like, I can't bring myself to eat the blue egg. Mm -hmm. Angie, I feel a little funny or, or bad to eat the blue egg. And so the egg is in there by himself, look. There he is all by himself. <laughs> anyway, my friend just said, eat the damn egg. And she said, show off video evidence. Oh my God, I feel so bad to find the egg. It's so precious. And she's like, eat the egg because they're like 50 more. They are a load more of the blue eggs. <gasps> Is it green or blue? Maybe it's green. <gasps> it's green. Oh, little egg. Why you think it's still good? Why you not eat it? What is a regular egg? Why not eat it? Green egg. It look like green or blue. So look you like wouldn't it. eat this egg just because no, it's green? Sir. Why? What do you think is so... Alright, let me prove to you it's a regular egg. Come, well, come. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to eat it because you think there's a different type of egg inside? Oh my god. I'm so sad to... Oh, I'm so sorry, little egg. Regular egg. Okay. Oh, and they're delicious because they're free range. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I decided to go ahead and do one of the quail eggs because I've never had a quail egg and they've been in there from how long? And look at this. Oh my God. So look, there's a regular egg. There's a quail egg. I heard these are good on top of burgers. Mm -hmm. You guys ever had a quail egg before? No, I've never. And you never have one? No, I never. I have to for boil it and just eat it with a little salt and pepper. It's nice. Should okay. we try them, guys? Yes, I would. Look at this. Hold up this egg, and just so I can see what the size of the egg. There it is. So cool. Wow. The shell is pretty too. It is. It's like it has like a green tint. Look at this one. Wow. Did you see some little mangoes with them? Skin here, Mrs. Smith? Like a blacky mango? Yes. Yeah, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love those. All right, let's do this then. All right, so I put them in this little steam basket, a little water in there, and we're gonna steam them for a few minutes. Should be perfect. So I just fried the little quail egg and I did it with a little of the smoked scotchy salt that we got from this greedy girl can cook who we tagged in our last video. So awesome. Um, let's try it. 
I guess you the pepper too. No, okay, so I have a smoke scotch this out. I was going to do the whole thing. I fried it in some olive oil. Tastes like one regular egg. Tastes like one regular egg. Tastes like one regular egg. So there's a quail egg, and we'll put a little of the scotchy salt on it. No, man, no, no, cut it. It's all right. No, look inside it. You know, trust me, you know. <laughs> Not sure. That's how the love of night it works. It. But there's no difference. A regular egg? Yeah. There's no difference. It tastes good. I always thought it had a different taste. So, what purpose it have? I don't know. Who's the child? Why it's a deer? <laughs> The color. I've never had a quail egg before. None of us. We're all trying None it today. So I'm gonna try some of this. Because but the like egg, no, no, no stickiness to it. Yeah, I'm gonna dry it to it out. No, then hold it. This, this. What are you gonna do with these? Just eat them. I'm gonna give them to the kids. Really. There goes nothing. You know about this size, like this size, about this. Hmm. It's like a regular egg. But the yolk is way creamier. Mm. Isn't it great? Mm. These are from the farm. These are perfect for like little snacks on the road. <laughs> yes, and I fried one and it was so good. You fried one? Yeah, it must have been so cute. It would be good to put in a salad too. This is good, y'all. Try it. Yeah. Later. Bye. I was home. And did Tati pick him up from school today? And what's that you made? I made a rocket. Wow. It goes pew pew. Pew pew pew. <laughs> And then it goes like pew. Oh. And it lands on mommy's side. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting it to drop down. I thought it was going to go like this, then this. But then it went like this, and then it went like this. Try it again. <gasps> It's a good rocket! Is he no biting? Is he no biting? No biting. No. Yes? Because I'm carrying on. It kind of exploded into a parachute. What a send off. Uh, got here around 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., and now it is 2 o'clock. So it was a, just a beautiful service. You know, Nobody wanted to leave, even though it was a long service. Um, and it's fitting too, because Luton, not just because I'm a virgin, the man is a legend. As I said, when I went up um, to deliver because I sang glory to God for him, um, he's a national treasure. The man is a record breaker, people. All right, let me list a few of his um, accomplishments. He scored 35 goals for Jamaica national football team, the Reggae Boys. And not only did he score, but 32 of the 35 goals were wins. And that's not normal. That's not normal. That simply means there is a man from him put in mind to it for win. If him, I forgot bear the burden, him I go bear the burden. 32 and 35 goals for the national team came in wins for Jamaica. So he never scored no, oh, we just get back a cancellation goal. A general, general, a man with full of fight. Um, Kishan. Oh, me and Kishan really get close is, is, is virtual football. So he's a man who loves him football. Football was in life, whether it be on the field or virtual football. And we used to play FIFA. So I know all of the MTM family know that game there. FIFA, PS4, Xbox, whatever, but we are PS4. And we take it to the to levels. Yeah. A big league, so people no bother, no bother with it in the comments. Yo, Marsh, you want to test in a FIFA. We're not regular in a FIFA, right? We and Kishan and the whole, our syndicate, our friends, we go hard, we go real hard in a FIFA. 
Um, and some of my best memories were around football, whether me and him go watch football match or you know, I remember one match in particular, his last match for Waterhouse after he did his whole um, European career, played in several countries, Turkey, Russia, England. Him come back to Jamaica now, so we and him a part them time there, right? And him a play back for him original club in Jamaica, which is Harborview, right? I remember saying of a match, and I said to him, say, yo, give me one later, you know, make sure you score. And I said, yeah, man, make a score, man. And when I watched the match, because the match come up on TV, Jaina, and if you know Kishan from him, tell you, say, he might go up on the score sheet. They just believe him. I think about, you know, the second half, right? And a ball come over. I don't remember if a German you float over one and Kishan goes up. And flab it over the keeper with him head, you know. I talk about precise, I talk about precision, where sharp shooter and a normal boy. And I could have got on and on, but I'm not going to go on and on. Respect my brethren, rest well. Um, it was a very fitting send off. Um, small ceremony, but trust me, I learned a lot about. About, about, about him today to because if you know Luton humility is in middle name all of these things when me know about Kishan I google me have to google it because he will not be the one if I tell you or shout out say me do this and me do that he is the last man so it was just a great example and an inspiring youth and um, we just there for kind of carry on take the button and run with it now you know loot and doing time but we have life now so we we have to just rise to the occasion and live our best life as Kishan did you know and you know the Mitchell family our heart goes out to the Shelton family all of his kids um, his wife Babbitt um, everybody friends and family acquaintances all of the reggae boys them uh, who came out today, Bibi there, Pepe there, Tapa, right, whole heap of reggae boys come support too, you know, so, once again, big up my virgin loot and a straight love. I mean, where's mommy? She's gone. Ah! Where? When she's gone? Yeah. Where's she gone? I don't know. I mean she gone. So she never tell me say she gone. No, she's not gone. She's not gone. I'm working on something. What am I tell me say you're gone? No, I'm here. Oh, where are you going with daddy? I'm working on a little beauty video. Oh, on for real? IGTV. That's what's up. Yeah. But so you guys are MTM. interrupting it. So about MTM. No, MTM don't want to see a beauty video. What do you mean? Who wants to see the behind the scenes? Mm -hmm. MTM want to know everything what's going on. Hi, honey. Yeah, behind the scenes, do you have makeup classes? I'm leaving every second. Just put that down at last. All right, come, 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 guys. Let's go, First, please. I'm, I'm just going to make some. We'll move out of the way, Mom. All right, come, come, come. Yo, look what Benjamin just sent over. I don't even know if Tammy is aware of this or if Benjamin's just decide for send on to bad um <laughs> customized chef aprons. Chef Tammy fake cooking show turn up loud. And here we go again. This must be for Chef Wayne. <laughs> you wanna get something to cheer you up? Yeah. Watcha? Watcha? I will talk to you. <laughs> you see my dying child? No! No! That's why I get that. Yeah, no. Cheer me up. Cheer me up. So we're going to go to Devon's house? It's not <laughs> Devon's house. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not. Like it. oh. What? You know Devon from somewhere. You're going to Devon. From me, I got there. So many of us never see Devon yet. Who's this for? For me? Yeah. Whoa, dude. I think mommy would appreciate them more. I'm going to donate my flowers to mommy so you can give mommy those. Hey! You come find your daddy? 
You come find it, Daddy? No. What one? You okay? No. Tell me something. Hey, come, let me hear let me hear some ABC. Sing ABC for MTM. ABC. Wow, that was wicked. That was awesome, Ozzy. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about how Ozzy is learning his, his letters. Huh? I can even jump through that. Look. Jeez, oh. You jump now. You jump. Watch her. Watch her. Careful. Oy, careful. Come. Oh, no, no. You are right. Oh, see the pan camera. See me pan camera. All right, boozy. Nothing not do you. I'm going to watch the replay and see if nothing do you. Watch her. Bunky, Bunky. Sing, sing old MacDonald. Oh that situation turned around very quick. That's and a nice little um, And now song. we're just going to go to Devon House to get some ice cream to cheer daddy up. And read it. What's that? What word is that? H-T-E. What word does that spell? It spells the. The. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. no, 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 no. Ice cream. 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 I want to see. Bad. Hey, mommy, I want to see. Listen, guys, we're still on our eating rights, but. Can I see? Just one of those oh. days. You know them neither, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it happens. I'll have to allow for it. I just need Can a I treat. See? Can you help me open this? Sure. Mm, you know what's nice about this chocolate? Which is why it's perfect to be naughty with it. It's flourless. And um, I spoke to them and they said it only has about five grams of sugar per serving, which is amazing. So it's really nice to just like dark chocolate. Can I have some? Please. I wish no, that you sugarless. Please. I think it's sugarless. Nice, that. Yes, it is. There are some please. ice creams that are sugarless. Please. Mm -hmm. Please. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Please. I just took the strawberry off of the other thing and put it with the chocolate. Mm. Wayne does not Are like fruit and chocolate. Strawberry? Hmm? Oh, this is Nobody likes fruit and chocolate. I do. I like fruit How was the ice cream, boys? Uh oh. Oh, Atlas, hold on. Ice cream is like. Anyway, Momo just told me that we're out of eggs and uh, I feel like all of these buy food, I swear to God. Our sausage is made with eggs. Struggle is real, people. About every time I go to the supermarket, we buy like two loaves of bread and it's just done. Wow. And I never eat bread. That's Alex fault. He, he eats like, like bread and honey for breakfast. Bread and honey. I don't know, man. I don't know. Leave in the comments if you guys have the same struggle. If you feel like all you do is buy food for your household. Yay! Kick off of me. Kick off of me. Ooh. I want some. No, you got a taste. No, it's Atlas to get a taste. Mm -hmm. All right, see belt on. See belt on. I want some. All right. We need a plan. 
What happens no more? You get us some of that and Very then we muscle. stop bothering you. And then run away. <laughs> what? Nothing. I heard someone say run away. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah? Mm -mm. Yeah? Mm -mm. Yeah? Nobody said anything right now. I'll do that when I get back. I'll do it when I get back. No, sir, I have to drop them off because... There's no way I could have taken them going to the supermarket. It's like them just ready. Yo, listen, man. Uh, for my You ever feel for this runway dog? Oh my god, you know, parents, it's a real thing. And don't some get, people. Don't get me wrong, you know. Love of them, Of course. Uh, to death. We know this. But it's but. part of parenting that nobody talks about it. Sometimes it is overwhelming. And we have so much support and help. I cannot imagine. Sometimes I just think to myself, just the other day I was a carefree 18 year old. I know, yes! Pretzel balls. I'm just eating a. Pretzel balls is a thing? It's chocolate covered pretzels. And then mash up in one ball. Just say yes, babe. Yes, yes, yes. Go on. When? Just the other day, we were 18. Listen, it's all size of parenting. Sometimes it might look nice and fun, and it is. But sometimes, guys, facts of life, it is hard. And, you know, I think about, like, my siblings who live in other countries where they just don't get the support that we get here. And I say it all the time, like, my heart goes out to people who are doing this on their own. My heart goes out to single parents. Mm -hmm. Because there's just nowhere to turn. And we just share that with you because we don't want anybody to feel like, you know, sometimes you f it's okay to feel like that, man. And it doesn't mean you don't love your kids and it doesn't mean, you know, you don't love being a parent, but sometimes it's hard. What you need to be is fully ready for the mantle of parenting. Don't run down parenting before the time, before you are emotionally, physically, financially ready and prepared to take up the burden because it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. Parenting and even is a when lot. you're ready, Wayne, yeah. because it's something you have to do every single right, day. You know, the, the, the key to it is having support, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, oh, we have Momo now where we can, Momo can watch the kids for um, 45 minutes while we run out on the road, not even so much. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's that time and more. And Angie too. Right. But imagine if it's you alone. That's what I'm saying. Imagine if it's you alone, right? And that's why we set our hats come off to the single parents and, and, even and the not couples. even yeah, the couples who are doing it alone. Alone, you know. Sometimes you. in in countries, districts, towns where they don't have any relatives at all yeah. and can't afford the, the ridiculous prices to to um have their kids watched or whatever just to even get a break somebody said in the comments you know when it's so nice that you and Tammy like still kind of get away for a lunch date or this and it's honestly like it is a luxury to be able to do that we understand that because we don't do it all the time mm -hmm. but we made it a priority to try and do it more because we see where you know we we can neglect each other completely and just be in the parenting thing all the time it's rough guys and like I said if anything we hope that this vlog is a reflection of life as it is and that means that some days some things are hard we just wanted to share that and what we're gonna do now and we have the benefits of doing this is we're gonna go to the supermarket take a five and come back ready for the evening session <laughs> Hats off to all of every all, every parent out there. Whether you have help, don't have help, or otherwise, we are doing our best. No matter our situations and circumstances, we are all doing our best, and we don't win every day. Cheers to the parents.
afraid of it. I said, Miss T, hey, boy, she should have stopped you from looking at that lady. <laughs> me never did I look nowhere. You were staring very hard. No, up on the wall, me did I look. No, I saw. <laughs> Took one you know, they tell him that I can can hear though. Big up, tell him. She took one look at you and then look up again. Whatever, she that child will have composure. <laughs> <laughs> she done mock me out long time from the there gone. She's not gonna mock me out there. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> yeah.